Hi, welcome to episode two of my uh, video critique series. Um, we're going to be looking at potato Manly Potatoes North American House Hit O Replay. So let's take a look at it real quick. So, it's a split cap. We're going to look a little bit more in depth at it. Uh, the opener, nothing to say about it really. I need to get some stuff close to the ground like you should. And then sets up for a really nice spin. I do really like this spin, actually. This is a very well-made spin. Uses his arms really well to get that momentum going. And then I just like how his legs look at in it. Like, those contracted legs, I think, look really nice with this spin. And then this kick, this split kick, I like a lot, actually. Um, because it's just interesting to me, because he seems to be getting his power for it from the glutes. Which is a really uncommon thing to see. Like, most of the time when people do their kicks, they get their momentum from either their hips or their knees. But Manly Potato uses his glutes, it seems like, for the main source of power for this kick. And I think it looks really nice. And it's not something you see every day, so I really enjoy that choice that he did. Then he brings up his arm here for a nice little grab. Nothing really else he could have done there. That's pretty much his best option. And then he brings in his leg and does a nice little decap here. Um, one second. I I like this decap because it's like... Actually, I'm not sure if I like the decap now that I think about it. Because it just like barely touches the neck. It like hits, it hits the head first and then the neck, which is generally not great. You usually want to just hit him right on the neck. And then he gets this arm DM, which I don't think, at, I mean, it's good, but I don't think it looks very, I mean, it's nice that he got the extra DM, I mean, but I don't think, I think it would have been better if he had just gotten the decap. That's a personal preference of mine. I think that getting the arm DM kind of like cheapens it in a way. Like, I've heard if it's just the decap, it makes it seem like it was more like, oh, I meant to just get that decap, that's what I was doing. When you get the arm with it, it makes it look like it was just sort of in the way. Unless you're doing a boom hit, then that's alright, I'm fine with you doing that. But if it's just two DMs, I think decap should either be part of a boom hit or just the decap. I don't like two DM decap hits. That's me. I don't know. Then he falls into this nice little pose. Very nice. So overall, I am good replay, good execution, nothing too spectacular about it, but I think he did a really good job with it. For the second replay, we're going to be looking at this replay, uh, Won the Battle, also the War V2 by Gargon555. Uh, I don't know that much about Gargon555. I've seen him hanging around in our Ormo IRC channel, but I haven't... You know, seen too many replays, so we're gonna see what we got here. So, we got a madman here, so let's take a bit of a look at it. Um, this opener, it's pretty good up until around here. I don't like this move that he just did right there. Um, for one, you generally don't want to have contracted wrists in a neutral setting. And by that I mean you don't want to contract it contracted wrist unless you're setting up for something with it. If you're, unless you're doing something with the contracted wrist, you want your uh, wrist to be extended. Otherwise, it just kind of looks ugly. Um, and also, his movement in here is generally just a bit stiff. Like right, that spin, he just sort of freezes in that position for a couple frames and it doesn't look very good. Uh, next, he gets that split kick, which... It's like, like I said, it was a little bit stiff before it, so it doesn't look that great. But his next hits are very nice. I actually do them like them a lot. This decap punch is very, very nice. I like it a lot. Comes right up, pops that head off. I like it. And then he comes in with his other hand and punches the arm off, which I think looked... The, that one-two punch is definitely really good. And then, he, after that second punch, he grabs and then brings in his leg, which I think is a very good option. He it preserves the flow. It looks nice. I like it. Uh, and then, 
I think that is where the replay should have stopped. But he keeps going and pops over and gets that last DM. The reason I want the replay to stop earlier is because that last DM doesn't really fit with the flow that much. It looks like he's already kind of going into a pose right there, and then he just sort of pops over and kicks off a of glue. It's like not that much to add, and it's not... It's not that much to add, and it's not that good looking to make it worth it, I don't think. I think he should have stopped right after that that first kick there. But overall, uh, not that bad. I mean, I've never heard of this guy, so I mean, obviously he's not. It's not the best, but I think he did a really nice showing, especially with that three-hit combo after that initial split kick, which I didn't like too much. So overall, not too bad. Yeah. Our last replay for today is gonna come from Hatterson. It's called "I Built This Artillery." It's manipulation replay, which is good because I fancy myself to be uh, pretty good at manipulations. So we're just going to look through it real quick. See what he's got. He's got a nice little artillery ski at the end. It's cute. So let's take a look at it. Uh, opener. It's pretty good. Uh, I don't like this. Like, he goes into for the helicopter, which is fine. But I never really liked this move. I, and I get that you need it to continue the helicopter. But I always thought it looked kind of ugly. When you just rotate your chest and your legs aren't moving. I don't like the look of it. I, and that's me personally. I think it's because it's a kind of simple to execute move. It doesn't show off too much skill. Uh, but I think it's a pretty it's pretty alright move. I, and I just don't think it's that special because a lot of people learn how to do that pretty early. So then he does little head spin thing, and then comes in and starts the manipulation. Now, this is a pretty good manipulation, I think. He's got a really nice setup with the arm there. Very good for getting lift off the ground. And then he brings his other arm to get more spin. Very nice. That's what you want to do. And then... That kick's a little odd, but it works. I like it. I mean, it does its job very well, sort of. But I don't like that the leg hits the arm after the kick. So he uses that to get more momentum upwards, but then his leg hits the arm. I don't know how... I think that would have been really hard to avoid, but it still doesn't look good. Like, I think it would be better if he found some other way to get more momentum on you without having to stop it immediately after, like he did there. But then he brings his arm up, another good continuation of manipulation. And then a very nice roll right there into this next kick. I like it a lot. Very nice boom. Very good finish to the manipulation. And then he sort of sets up and throws that skeet up in the air. And then you wait for it to come down, of course. And this is a bit of a problem here, actually. Um, I'm... He... Mentioned in his replay thread, and so yeah, he moves his neck at the end, which, I mean, you're not, you shouldn't do. You just shouldn't do that. But I mean, I've done it before. I've, I have been guilty of tampering with my replays to get dismemberments. Uh, everyone's done it, but generally you just shouldn't. I mean, try not to, but otherwise... I really, I think this is a really good replay. The manipulation is very, very good. The boom kick is a very nice finisher. Every, pretty much everything except the opener. Like, when he's touching Yuke, he's doing great. But the opener wasn't the best, and I am the skeet. I know it's pretty good, but I, I like artillery skeets. They just take a lot of time to do. And I am, that's it, I guess. So, that's it for this episode of my weekly series, I guess. It's going to be now. Uh, be sure to send in your replays to my Yahoo account. I'll have it in my description again. Um, and, yeah, I guess that's it.